Robert Lee Frost. One of the best known American poets is remembered primarily for his realistic writing about rural life in New England, despite being born in San Francisco and growing up in the city. He moved to Massachusetts when he was 11. His father was a heavy drinker and died of tuberculosis, leaving the family with only $8 to survive on. His early years were difficult. He struggled a long time to become a successful poet. His style was out of fashion almost from the beginning. He was interested in traditional forms of rhyme and meter while his contemporaries such as Ezra Pound, William Carlos William and T.S. Eliot were writing in modern free verse. He had to drop out of college during his first year of work and tried unsuccessfully to publish poetry. He worked as a teacher for a few years but he never enjoyed it. He was 39 when he published his first collection of poems, A Boy's Will, and it was a major success. Though Frost never graduated from college, he was a visiting professor at several prestigious universities, including Amherst College, Harvard University, and Dartmouth College. He received more than 40 honorary degrees throughout his lifetime, in addition to his four Pulitzer Prizes. He was also nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature 31 times. Frost was also the first poet ever asked to read at the presidential inauguration of John F. Kennedy's. However, at the age of 86, he couldn't read the poem dedication which he specifically wrote for the event due to bright sunlight and instead recited his poem The Gift Outright from Memory. Frost was influenced by Robert Graves, Rupert Brooke, Thomas Hardy, W.B. Eats, John Keats and Ralph Waldo Emerson. Frost did not just write poetry. His play, A Way Out, was produced in New York City in 1918. He also wrote several prose works including an autobiography, The Education of Henry Adams. You might have known some of his famous poems like Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, Mending Wall, After Apple Picking and The Road Not Taken. But do you know Jawaharlal Nehru, our first Prime Minister too, was fond of his poems? Yes. Nehruji kept a book of Robert Frost close to him towards his later years, even at his bedside table. His close associates say that in his last moments, these lines lay on his pillow side. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep, and miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep, from stopping by the woods on a snowy evening. Frost was not only our Prime Minister's favourite poet, but also of President John F. Kennedy, who bestowed on him United States Congressional Gold Medal in 1962. Frost died in Boston on January 29, 1963 of complications from prostate surgery. Frost's epitaph reads, I had a lover's quarrel with the world. The last line of his poem, The Lesson for Today. His poetry invites us to venture down the less traveled path to explore the road not taken and to find meaning and beauty in the simplest aspects of life. And even though he is no longer with us, his words continue to inspire, provoke thought and stir emotions in readers around the world.